Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Wheeler and today we are painting the T-Rex by Knowles's Marvelous Miniatures. That's right. Knowles's Marvelous Miniatures. I've already done my first step, worked my way through. I've got my base coats done, so it's not primed. It's now base coated, basically. And it's now a matter of sort of adding my layers of colour, which I'm looking forward to. I'm not trying to duplicate the green T-Rex or the red T-Rex. I'm trying to do sort of like a brown, grey, and uh, more like the T-Rex from Jurassic Park, but not exactly like Jurassic Park. It's not going to look like that because I don't think I could probably, I couldn't do that. It's too hard, too hard. This is my day off. So grab your paints, your miniatures, your, your crafting bits and pieces, settle down and <coughs> let's get this on. Aha. Uh -huh. So I started off with Flat Earth by Vallejo Paints. We're now working into the next colour. Now I'm thinking for the top section, I'm going to go with a very, very dark colour and then work my way down from there. How's it going? How's it going? Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah. Your, um, your name changes. I, I, I've noticed, uh, Matt, that your 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 name color changes can you change the color of your name so we've done the flat earth i'm going to go with the al brown al bear brown not al brown al bear brown and uh from there <laughs> we're gonna make, mix it up a little bit make it a little bit more interesting hopefully that's the plan anyway by all means chat with me about dungeons and dragons if you want to oh okay so maybe it just changes the color as you sort of float in and out Interesting. Didn't realize that. Okay, so, and I've also got some Minotaur um, hide color. Uh, this is the D&D Knowles's Marvelous Pigments range. Okay. <clears throat> These are the ones that, uh, when you shake them up, they don't often need a lot of watering down, otherwise they get a little bit bubbly and horrible. So I'm going to go with, I'm going to use my a big brush, because I'm covering a big area. And I'm going to grab my piece of it's not toilet paper it's a paper towel <laughs> and we're going to just apply that on the brush on the tip, um, edge and then I'm going to be pretty aggressive this time around so I don't actually mind if a lot of paint comes off because that's sort of roughly what we're trying to do and we will stroke down I believe from about the top here with the darker color and work my way down the creature on the sides as well down 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 da, down down its back and i will have to load the brush again so i will it has gone bananas over there on YouTube. Man, everybody is live streaming. It's great. I think it's awesome. Um, but I was I was just amazed. There was like five different channels, Dungeons and Dragons channels, that is, all live streaming on YouTube. I don't, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, it's, I guess in America, that's Friday night, so it's a good time to do it if uh, you've got nothing better to do. I think Nerdarchy is running one of their their games, and I think Ryan's doing that, and then <clears throat> Luke is doing his Q and A for his Dungeon Masters, and his channel is. I mean, I knew his channel was going to do really well when I saw him, um, you know, s sitting there and answering questions. He stops. He doesn't do that quite so much now. He does still answers questions, but he's trying to get away from doing that. Um, which I thought was quite interesting. Okay, so, uh, and then we'll just keep applying the darker brown until it sort of shifts in color and tone a little bit. And then, what is it, um, Bill, Bill Allen, he's also on there doing his live stream, and I think, um, how to be a great dungeon master he's doing his live stream q a as well cool blimey it's been it's 
it's good that people are doing it. I think it's a great thing. I will still be on YouTube doing live streams. Just it'll be the short form content rather than the long form content. And you won't see them once they're played out during the live stream. You won't see them. They'll go unlisted after that until I'm satisfied. They've been chopped down to a, a much shorter length. Because <clears throat> it's just getting too difficult otherwise. Okay, now. Wait till you have 500 people asking you questions. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. I don't think that's going to happen. I, I think that's very, very unlikely, to be honest. I think it's very unlikely that there'll be 500 people asking me questions at the same time. And the reason being is that, you know, it is actually really, really hard to get to a point where you can sort of deal with that. I can't imagine how people manage on a channel where they're larger than I am and the number of comments that come through. I mean, I haven't been keeping up with the comments because I've been sick. Um, but I've noticed that because I've been putting more videos up, there's been a lot more comments. Um, okay, all right, so let's work our way along the tail. Being fairly aggressive with the brown. Now I know you can't necessarily see a change in tone because it is, after all, brown on brown but I can see that there is a, a shift in tone even if you can't. The idea is to have transitions look sort of seamless right that's the that's the goal and it was, it was working out pretty well let's keep sliding that brush along there yep nice uh, what's that? Look how fast your YouTube channel has grown. You will be there, Fred. No, it's been it's been three years, man. It's actually been I started beginning of two thousand and sixteen, and I've been at it since two thousand and sixteen. The very beginning of that. That's when I started. It is almost we're well, halfway through two thousand and nineteen. So that's two thousand sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. It's been three and a half years. It's a long time. I didn't realize when somebody said um, years ago, like, when you do this sort of stuff, if you can't make it into a business by the time you've you've reached sort of like three years, you'll probably find you can't keep it up. And I have to say, they're probably I'm probably at the at that point because the next job I get will probably say um, have so many restrictions. And I know that sounds strange, but it, it happens have so many restrictions and so many um, criteria, um, criteria to get the position or require such unusual work hours that I won't be able to keep it up. So we'll see. If I make it, I make it. If I don't, I guess I'll wind up being another channel that disappears into the ether. Um. <clears throat> but we're, I haven't, uh, haven't given up yet. <laughs> I guarantee it on your money. Ah, you reckon? Yeah. Pro problem is I don't have any money. <laughs> ah, dear. Uh, now, that looks a lot better. I know you can't necessarily see the transitions in colour, but it is. It's looking really, really good. It took AJ, um, AJ's forever to grow, but um, I knew it would. Uh, because of his content yeah AJ though makes content it's a very very different nature to my own AJ does Dungeons and Dragons lore and I'm an eclectic you know my channel covers many many areas and so therefore as a result of that um, that sort of changes things I am tidying up my channel by the way I have been very very slowly trying to get rid of a lot of the um, just the unedited live stream content tidy up thumbnails do metadata, make sure descriptions and tags are all sort of done. But it's a long process. I've got like 800 videos now. Um, and a few of my videos when I started off doing my live streaming are really bad. I mean, I looked at them and I was like, well, I, I had to start somewhere. But, yeah. Okay. Now, I've done the, the Albia. Oh, I've been trying to clean off the, um, the primer that I over, over primed my Albia miniature. But I want to do the Albear at some point. So if um, if I wind up with a lot of these weekends with nothing much else to do but paint, 
uh, then I will be doing the Albia hopefully next next time I take my weekend. Okay, so I'm going to use this Minotaur hide and I'm going to go over that down, I guess, the sides of the legs rather than the top of the animal. Yeah, it's a much lighter color, so I'm going to tackle further down the leg rather than higher on the leg. I just need to get this brush dry. <clears throat> I love your channel, Fred. I wish um, I was a rich man. Um, you will make it, Fred. Well, thank you for the support. I was trying to fathom how I was supposed to transfer these videos that are painting videos, essentially, over to an edited version, which takes forever to process, and then stick them up unlisted on YouTube for the patrons. And, patrons. and I was like, holy Toledo. This is a hard, hard, this it takes a long, long time. Long, long time. <laughs> okay, right, so let's get this paper and I'm going to go really, really thin to begin with and just see what happens. I'm going to do one side. So I'll put the leg down so you can kind of see what's going on. Okay, a bit more, less, less paint. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I don't think it's a bad idea. I kind of feel like it is going to work. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. She's good. We'll just keep doing that. That's working fine. I'm not unhappy with that as a result. Okay, so we'll do that again. <clears throat> oh, how's it going? Hypno. Hypno. How's it going, Hypno? Oh. Oh. I... My antibiotics. Come on, do your job. Do your job. Okay, all right, so that I feel like is good. We're just going to go with the just under here, under the body, sort of like a spot attack. <laughs> is there such a thing? Is there such a thing? Um, what at in a someone taught um, Dave how to uh, edit. I remember when I'm um, talking about it back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, see, I, I really despise editing. It is, it is one of the most time consuming. You, you have no idea just how difficult it is. I used to edit all of my, every time I stopped talking, I would edit out those gaps. So it sounded like I was a person who never actually breathed. And uh, I don't do that now. I leave those in because it actually, although the video gets shorter and there's a few people who are insistent on all videos must be at least two or three minutes or if not shorter because of their time frames. Um, but uh, it, it doesn't really work out. It, it actually, it's a bit, a bit problematic. So, okay, so this seems to be the go-to. We're going to keep going with this. This is all right. My brother has, you know, sort of pointed me in the direction of software to use and so forth. But I still actually use um, Movie Maker and, and sort of, because it's fast, you, you have no idea how slow the likes of Vegas and other software packages are in terms of processing what you've done. It takes forever. Literally. You can, you can do the work. It's hard to actually see everything because you can't, you know small eyes so forth try and actually access everything so it takes a long time and to be honest i'd much prefer to talk to people in live chats than uh in the comment section um i don't mind doing the comment section thing but i feel like live chat is where is that so 
when people want to ask me questions, I'm like, mm, just ask me in a live chat. I do so many of them. You're bound to find a time when I'm on. Just ask me there. Yeah, you've got a question? I'll just do a video on it if I feel like it. <laughs> Although I haven't really been doing that so much these days. I've done a few videos that people have called out, but I've been trying to um, make sure I cover the topics that the patrons... The patrons have come up with some very good ideas, so... I'm probably going to try to work through those first. Oh yeah. Yep. It is, it is actually, because of just just slight color change, it's actually working out pretty well. I don't know that you'll necessarily be able to see it on screen though. It's the only problem. It's working for me. I don't know if it's necessarily working for everybody else. Oh, yay. Yay, hey, hey. Yay, hey, hey. There we go. Cool. Well, that was that was like super easy. All right, so that's I'm happy with that. We'll wash that out. <clears throat> uh, what's that? I used to tip um, tip out over all your um, different um, hats. Um, still remember when you had your girlfriend in the videos back in the day? That wasn't my girlfriend. That was my sister. Rose. Rose is my sister. She used to um, come and do them uh, with me, which was kind of kind of fun. Um, I do miss those days, but she's sort of really busy nowadays. She's got a job, full-time job. Um, she's trying to build a house. She lives out in the Watts. Um, and I would love to sort of, you know, goof around with her, you know, actually enjoy, enjoy the idea of just doing it. If I had to do an edited video... <clears throat> It would be a goof around the video. That I don't mind editing. Because it's funny. It's fun. It's not boring. Oh, laugh out loud. Didn't know. Sorry. You don't have to be sorry. <clears throat> it's not a problem, mate. Um, okay, so. I've done that. I've got the... I've got some tan earth, which is a much lighter colour than the ones I've just used. So I'll put that one out of the way. It's the, that hide stuff is gone. That's that gone. And... So we're going to try using some of this um, tan earth. I used the earth before. This is a much lighter color though. <clears throat> and I'm hoping that this will help pick out some of the details. That is the hope anyway. Okay. All right. Ta -da! Just like that. Just like that. Another paper towel. <laughs> I'm going through them very quickly now. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to make sure it's dry. Come on, dry off. <laughs> I'm, I'm blowing on it. I don't know how's that supposed to help. <laughs> uh, okay, so much lighter brown to hopefully bring out the details. And <laughs> yeah, all right. So we've got that there. And stroke, 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 and now, what's it going to look like? Well, not too bad, actually. Considering all things, not too bad. It is bringing out the little finer details pretty pretty well. See if you can. I'll just turn it around. You should be able to see the difference now on that side where I was working. You can see some of the. The highlights, the details are starting to pop out a little bit more. Hi, how's it going, Darren? Dang it, again, no notifications. 
Yeah, sorry about that, Darren. It's going to be one of those issues. We, we had issues with um, with uh, YouTube uh, not doing their notifications. It's going to be the um, same thing with Twitch TV by the sounds. Okay, so this is actually really, really coming together now. I'm kind of pleased that I've done it the way I have. Is it dumb luck? Is it skill? I do not know. <laughs> I have no idea. But in any case, I'm having a good time. That's the main thing, right? If you're having a good time, you're doing something right. Oh, there's just there's so many little details on this thing. They are all starting to come out too. All right, let's do that again. And right, and then find a spot to start with. And then just work my way around the beastie. Do 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 Now you're wondering why am I not dealing with the underneath because I feel that the grey is a lighter colour and therefore I can probably work with that last rather than right now. Ha huh. yeah. That's right. I had a plan. It's gonna work. Well, that's my hope. Sounds like a logical plan, doesn't it? Okay, so this, I'm just going to just flip this a little bit so I can see what's going on with this tail. Yeah, good, 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 good. Okay. <clears throat> All right, what's this? Um, check my notifications. They are on, but in the in the same boat as you. Yeah, yeah. I, it's. We went through. We we. I mean, how long did it take for us to finally sort out the notification problems with you, YouTube? They took ever. And you didn't matter what you did. You seemed to not get any notifications. And I think that it was technical issues at the end rather than anything else. Okay, so let's. Let's just. Hmm. Oh yeah. And there's there's a, so many fine details on this creature. They're just everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. <clears throat> I did the same after the last one. <laughs> Have you done the zombie T-Rex? No, I haven't. I don't think I'm really going to be in a position to do the T-Rex that's a zombie. It's going to, because unless I can get um, um, Gareth at Gale Force 9 to send it to me, it's probably not going to be something I can afford. Um, that it's not to say that I won't ask him, I will, but I still need to finish off uh, the Albear, and I, I and the I believe part of the arrangement was I had to do like a finalised video on those particular miniatures. That's um, Xanatha and the Albear before, you know, that was sort of part of the deal. And it's been a while, so he's had to wait quite a long time for me to get to that point. And that obviously was a product of me having other things to do, and it's you had to put them together, and I had to do the reviews for other things as well. I mean, they sent me quite a few things. It was like six different things to deal with. Uh, I asked for them, but it still took me time. Uh, okay, there we go. To just work around the little creature. Yeah, 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 yeah. Down the side of its neck. And then we'll just brush along the side there. There we 
go. It's all starting to come together now. Okay, so let's just down the crown. <clears throat> it's a little bit odd, some of these locations look just a little strange at times. It's a bit hard to know what's going on there. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's coming along not quite nicely, to be honest. It hasn't been too hard. Anyone else buffering like mad? Oh, is it buffering? Oh. There was actually a lot of buffering going on over on um, YouTube, I noticed myself. Now, it shouldn't be an issue here because I've got fibre, but you never know. I am in a country location. It is entirely possible. It's got to travel all the way from New Zealand to wherever you are in the world. Oh, it's... What if it farts? Don't fart, dinosaur. Don't fart. Hang on. Dinosaur farts. Gosh, that would probably knock you out. Just thinking. It's a ridiculous idea. I, 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 I know, where did I, where did I, how did I manage to get to that topic? Uh, <clears throat> it's just where my mind goes. What can I say? Ba, 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 ba. Hey, um, for those of you who are um, into painting and so forth, make sure you keep putting the stuff up on the Facebook group. Because I would be interested to see stuff. So don't forget. Uh, buffering. Um, was early but not the last few. Ah, okay. Uh, what's this? I'm rapidly becoming aware of how much I am spending on minis. Might go 3D printer on route. Uh, okay. It's actually more expensive for me to have go the 3D printer route here in New Zealand. It would actually cost me more in miniatures. <clears throat> um, I need the... Uh, to hurry up and get some uh, extra cash and uh, send you a box. Oh gosh, yeah, but it's going to cost you as much for the box. It's so expensive to send stuff to me. Be glad minis are still not only made of metal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if they were made of metal, man, you'd be having no argument. <clears throat> Darren loves his printers. I can understand that. Three D printers are the future been watching a lot of videos on those 3d printers you know, there certainly are the farts come out oh do they oh no oh no that's where it's been coming from then okay so back back to the job at hand which is deal with dinosaur dinosaur painting so so it should be clear from now that a lot of the details that were not obvious be short, before are definitely starting to pop out. You can see a lot of the definition and the miniature. It's there now. <laughs> and it's actually looking pretty good. I've still got the finer bits and pieces to do on it, but um, we'll deal with them a little later. Am I happy with that? I feel like I've kind of brushed this to death now. There's got to be a point where you decide enough's enough. And I will say enough is enough. Is a, yeah, I'm a liar. <laughs> there is a time I don't know when to stop fiddling with my miniatures. It's not like that. <laughs> it's not what I meant. Is it wrong? Wrong thing to say. <laughs> ah, damn. <clears throat> yes. Okay, all right, so that, that was a, a slip of the tongue. It wasn't, wasn't supposed to come out that way. Okay, so uh, now, now that I've done that, I kind of feel like I've browned it up nicely. Um, let's deal with the underneath. We'll deal with the big areas, right? And before dealing with the finer details of the miniature. But Mr. Dinosaur is looking pretty good. I feel like it's a fast improvement on what it was before. Um... Maybe I need to do some more on the face. The back end looks good, but I'm, oh, actually, maybe I'll do another, uh, do another run. 
I'll do another run on the face because the tail feels like it's come out pretty well. The body is not too bad. The head should be a little bit better, but it's it's not. I don't know why. So we'll put out enough paint to deal with the head again. And now, which of course I've got to dry my dry my, my dry my dry brush. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I've got to dry my dry brush. Um, so that I can actually dry brush with it rather than not dry brush with it. Okay, so let's dry it out as much as I possibly can. <clears throat> What's that? I'm working on painting this group of 20 cultists. I'm going to do less detail with just a couple of colors. Fair enough. Kind of have to. I remember painting um, armies in large quantities of miniatures. I never really enjoyed it that much. And I try nowadays to avoid doing that if I can help it. Um, just because it, it just reminds me of more of work than fun. Okay, so let's just brush and see if we can get the face and the head to pop out just a little bit more. Yeah. That's better. All right, let's turn that round. You better tell, hopefully, if the definition is a little bit better on that side now. I feel like it definitely is. And this side. Come on, you. Get it done. Yeah. Good. I think that's helped quite significantly. All right, we'll just keep working this a little bit longer. Take my time, right? It's an expensive miniature, so I can't really sort of muck around and just sort of do any old foolish job with it. Um, it's little hands, arms, the clory thingies. Okay, and the little chlory thing is on this side. Good. <coughs> okay, uh, now let's have a good hard look at it. The side of the details are coming out the way I want them to, and I think that is actually not too bad actually that's that's worked out pretty good let's just deal with it actually I might just deal with the feet just a little bit more it's just a few things that might still pop out a little bit yep cool and okay all right I think that's one more little, one more application. Down the top of it, I think. Here we go, it's done. All right. <clears throat> Yo, ho, ho, ho. Not too bad so far. Basics are coming together nicely. Oh, okay, what's this? Um, your wizard just got fibbled, so I want to let him do some damage to a big group. <laughs> uh, I'll post a pic of my family group of eight adventurers to Facebook. Sounds good to me. They were the first minis I painted, so they aren't 
is good, but the uh, the washes make everything good. Yep, that certainly made a big difference with my shambling mold. Have you guys seen the uh, the fiendish option for D&D 5e? Good read. No, I haven't really looked at that sort of thing. To be to be absolutely honest, I don't really check out the new player options. Um, it's it's never been something I've been terribly fond of. There's more than enough for me to deal with in the player's handbook as far as I'm concerned. So I don't I don't really look at the, uh, the player's handbook or oh, outside the player's handbook. I stick with everything else. Uh, free, it's a PDF, just uh, Google it here. Ah, well, you guys, I'm sure, will sort that out. It's not really my cup of tea. Um, now, what is going on there? Let's hang on. Just a little bit more of a, a washout. Yeah, but see... Uh, even even if it's official, I don't really necessarily use all of the official stuff when I'm dungeon mastering. And I, even when I'm playing, I don't usually use very much beyond the player's handbook. Very rare for me to use something outside the player's handbook. And I know that just doesn't appeal to a lot of people, but that's just, I guess, how I play. Um, but monsters, if I'm dungeon mastering, monsters, I change them for absolutely... They ain't going to be the same as the monsters in the monster manual. Okay, so this is where I need to start looking at greys. Now, I started with the this grey. I'll move this out of the way for a second. I started with that grey underneath. And I have these as options. And I'm looking at them and I'm feeling like... It's a bit odd. It may work. They, uh, they look very, very similar, those two. Look very, very similar. I think we'll just ditch that one. Stick with this. And I will try using this Lich Skin color. See if that works all right. Okay, so let's see. We want another little spot to put my paint in. Right over here. Right, there's, there's the gray there. So we'll put the gray in that one. And I'm going to do a similar sort of um, thing as I did before. I'm going to use a large brush and cover the grey underneath and try to pick out the details as much as I can. I can't use a brush that's quite as large as that. That's the only thing. So what are we going to do? We're going to use, still use a large brush, but something that I can sort of tailor it with. Okay, that's what we'll do. Got it. We'll use this brush. It's not a flat brush though. So okay. Turn over, here we go, let's see what happens. Mm. Maybe not. <laughs> Let's see if we can use a bigger brush for now. I do have a smaller one, but it's such a light brush stroke. Such a light brush, brush bristle that uh, it, it probably won't necessarily result in any paint coming off it. Okay, that's all right. It's kind of working. Let's work on the big areas, I guess. And let's work my way around. I've got another color here, uh, which is like gelatinous blue. And I might use the gelatinous blue underneath to help sort of kick it out a bit. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. 
All right. It's between the legs time. Now what's going on there? Something weird. What have I done there that I don't understand? I'm not sure. It's like I missed something completely. Maybe I did. Maybe I missed that that section. Okay, let's just stroke, the, stroke the tail, stroke the tail. <laughs> And up and down, up and down, tail. Yeah. Mild alteration to colouring. That's really all it's done, is a mild alteration. Hasn't been very significant. In fact, if not significant enough, not for my liking anyway. Hang on, it's just... um. Where was it? Um, it was the Lich stuff, wasn't it? I've got the Sea Grey. I can use that as well. And that brush can go back in there because it wasn't helping me. Okay, so there we go. I see what's going on. Now now I understand. Okay. What's going on is that there were sections underneath between the legs that I must have missed completely. And they now become completely obvious as the light has gotten better uh, that I had missed them. So there's actually some patches that are clearly in need of decoration, paint. All right, so well, let's just keep finishing off the bits that I was doing here. So I think that's actually probably done what it needs to do. So we'll get rid of that. I'll just clean up the little patches that I missed. And then maybe we'll go onto this, um, the sea gray. See if that helps any better. Does a better job of what I want it to do. <clears throat> Combine a, a druid of the circle of spores with <laughs> with the mushroom cultist thing makes for a great boss fight. <laughs> uh, the, yes, you sound very cunning. Oh, and I use the the yellow musk um, zombie and its plant based creatures. Oh. So there's one thing I would use is I would use monsters out of different books. That's absolutely something I would consider doing. I am definitely down with that. Okay. All right, so let's... Um, the graying of the underneath has not worked out quite as well as the, the brown section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, grab a uh, standard size brush. I'm going to grab the brown that I used initially for the coating underneath. That's this one here. Now what am I doing? I don't want that. I want the gray. I want brown? What am I want brown for? Where did that come from, Fred? No, this one. This one here. Okay. There. And we'll just get those little patches that I missed completely. Cool. Cool, All right. Yep. And it's just... Oh, yeah. There we go. Yep, okay, all right, so now, where is the little spots that I had missed that I couldn't... Okay, and ah, there it is, there's one. Getting the right angle is going to be the trick. And... Flick it round. I don't know, can you see that? Just between there, that there. 
I must have missed it in terms of my painting. There's the problem is that I'm dealing with grey and you're dealing with a grey primer, right? So um, hard to pick it out sometimes. Okay, so that's coated. And now, was that the only patch? I think it was the only patch. The only patch I missed. Fine. Okay. And Okay. Ah, there it is. I knew there were some little patches on the bottom that I needed to deal with. Just work my way around. Since I've got the paint out ready to use right now, I might as well use it now. And a little bit more. Probably kind of a bit pointless because at some point I'm going to have to sort of rebase, do something with the base with it. It's going to look a little bit weird otherwise. Yeah! Okay, alright, cool. Alright, so let's just wash that out. And so that was that grey. Now I've got this lighter grey which I'm going to use that I'm going to try and see if that'll help lighten up the underneath because right now I don't think it's really working I'm I'm kind of pretty much happy with the top section but the bottom just doesn't seem to work out right uh, so and that should be right okay Man, I've gone through so many paper towels. I had like, was it three or four here? I can't remember. I thought I had four. Okay, brush. Big brush time. So what sort of time is it where you guys are? It's currently for me, I've, it's almost three o'clock. So, um, and I will have to go and get myself organized because I'm supposed to be going out tonight. I'm hoping that you guys have, it's like Friday night for you and it's time to chill out and calm down and yeah, okay, that's it, there we go. Oh yeah. much better yeah that's a significant improvement on what I had before um, right so let's go down the creature between legs Okay, that got up the details of poking out there. Cool, and then work my way down the tail. Okay, all right, a little bit more. Um, that's that one there. 
So I, I think I will skip, I won't worry about using that um, gelatinous blue if this works out. I feel like it has. I feel like that's actually made a big difference. All the details are starting to sort of pop out now. <clears throat> and it's mostly blended together without, without too much effort on my part. Surprisingly, and da -da 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 -da. okay, not bad. It's actually pretty good considering. All right, so let's I'm not happy with that. Yep, leave it alone. It's good enough. It's good enough. There's got to be a point where you say enough's enough. And I'm just saying enough's enough on the underneath of that, of that animal. I could keep going on and forever and ever and ever and it would not help me. I'm sure. It would just cause problems. Um, almost 8 p.m. Ah. Uh, what's, what else is here? Um, lighten up the underside. It's looking too close in color to the rocks. Yeah. Yeah, I could I could go with a blue. I've got a, that, that gelatinous blue is actually pretty light, so I could lighten it up a lot more. And you're right, it is too close I suppose in colour to the rocks so yep see if we can I'll get the I'll get the gelatinous blue fair enough got time to do it <coughs> oh dear <laughs> it is what it's Friday night it's Almost nine o'clock where you are. Ah, okay. I'm also logged into my work PC working on an update that was uh, supposed to take place. Oh, uh, you are, com you must be um, IT support, right? Computer um, technician. You guys never get to sleep. I've got a couple of friends who are into that sort of thing and they, they got crazy hours. Um, they used to get paid really, really well, but for some reason, it's like everything in New Zealand. Everybody wants to be um, um, to pay less, and uh, so <laughs> things are getting more expensive. But they go, they want to pay you less. Um, okay, so let's go with gelatinous blue then, because that's quite a lot lighter, and that will lighten up the underneath significantly from the rock. So let's try that. <coughs> Yeah, I, I know what it is, Darren. It's definitely very much like that. It'll be very much like crazy hours, on call, and everybody wants everything done for nothing. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, all right. So let us see if Mr. Beastie can, um, can give us what we require, which is detail. Um, don't get me um, started on pay for it. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Okay, fair enough. I won't. <laughs> All right. Now, I am just about there. If you like, that is. Okay, so let's, let's see what happens here. This is probably going to be really, really light. It'll probably be so light in comparison. Oh, look at that. It's much lighter. If you could see the detail underneath, you definitely can see it now. Oh, 
Oh yeah. It's definitely a lot lighter underneath. Let's uh, do the arms. Little hands. His little, little hands. His little hands can't hold anything. Uh, my hands are too small. They don't. I, I got no thumb. I can't pick nothing up. I think they were more to sort of grab onto something rather than to pick things up with. Okay, so uh, where was I? I could remember which which e which area have I put the paint in. Okay, now tail section underneath underneath the animal. So you can see how that is that is made a lot lighter than it was before. Mm. Yep. Okay, we'll keep working our way along here. So we know what I'll be working on next week. It'll be it'll be Mr. T Rex. Mr. T-Rex will be requiring some assistance. Okay, so let's get some more of that. That seems to be working out all right. Um, yes, make it pop, Fred. It is popping out. It is popping like a bubbin' bubbin'. It's, it's popping like popcorn. And... Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is gonna let me get rid of some of this paint. Okay, so let's just stroke gently and see. Long the tail, long the tail, long the tail, long the tail, and there. And long tail, long tail, long tail. Bit of tail action. Ha ha ha. Bad joke, I know. The tail, it is uh, the popping out. Uh, it is uh, very lighter in comparison to what it was before. And. Uh, it's, a lot of the detail certainly is coming out. You can see it significantly more than before. Okay. And then between the legs. Been there before. All right. That was naughty, I know. It was very, very naughty. I like its look, Fred. Good. I'm glad you like its look. Everybody has their own um, way of doing things, right? And um, I guess when I was looking at how other people have done it, I was like, well, I think I feel like I have to do it a different way again. And this I'm happy with. This seems to be working. Okay, so if I can get between the legs. Okay. Um, do I need any more? All right, so one more little shot at it. How to do the after hours edit edition. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I am call it the after hours edit edition. Um, oh. Oh, let's brush it off a bit more. The wash will probably sort it. Okay, uh, is there anything I have missed that I need to apply paint to? I feel like it is pretty close to sort of as far as I'm going to get it done. Uh, 
Oh, wow. That uh, really brought out the throat a lot more, didn't it? Okay. All right. Okay. I'm I'm pretty happy with that as a uh, as progress for uh, about two hours of hard labour. <laughs> it's not really hard labour at all, but um, but it's not too bad. I thought. Okay. So let's let's do it. Let's give it a spin, so you guys can see. I'll get myself uh, in an in position and um, we'll give it a spin so you can sort of see the progress. So on on top, sort of this is where we're at in terms of the browns and. Hopefully you can see a lot of the definition and the details on it. And I've done the same thing on the tail and there's the head area. So get it into this shot so you can see. And then the transition isn't too bad. I, I feel like, I mean, I've overbrushed in some places, but I think the wash will sort that out mostly. And then underneath, if I flip the creature upside downish, so you can sort of see what's going on underneath here if you couldn't before you can see that a lot of the little muscles and so forth are being picked up um and uh, yeah it's sort of it's certainly a lot easier to see those details than uh, now between the legs is, is difficult um and then over here if the tail if i can show you the tail there you can see the tail and then I, over on that side, underneath that leg, so not too bad. I am um, for for what has got to be what a little bit over two hours worth of work. We've got to this stage, uh, which I think is not too bad. I think is actually pretty good, if you ask me. And um, I'm obviously going to have to come back and do some more painting, but there's no way I can keep going. Um, otherwise, what will wind up happening is that you guys will go to sleep, and chances are I will have. <laughs> I will find myself late for my, my my Dungeons and Dragons game. And I want to be late for my Dungeons and Dragons game. Thank you, Darren. Thank you, um, Matt. How's it going? <laughs> hey, yeah. So I would say this is a big yes. Obviously, the mouth, the teeth, the eyes, the claws all still need to be dealt with, but can be done and will be done. And we will be returning to this. Um, what's the only complaint? The only complaint I would have is is the the green stuff transition from the body to the tail. Yeah, yeah, it did pick it up, didn't it? You can just make out the line, just a just a fraction of it, just popping out, just a little bit. Yes. So yes, you're right. I would say that's that's one aspect to the miniature that I was not hugely happy about. It it was not obvious when I was looking at the miniature and going and spraying it. But now that I've started painting it, you can see it's got a, a slight kink in it and you can see, see the slight line. If you pay real close attention, you can just make out where the join takes place. Okay, so I'm just going to say what I normally say and that is I have hundreds of videos for players and dungeon masters over on YouTube. And I have a whole bunch of stuff on this channel as well, which you're welcome to go and check out if you really want to. But there's a whole bunch of stuff over on YouTube that you can go and check out if you feel like. That helps support me, make sure I keep doing more stuff like this. I have a Patreon page, which is linked down below there, which you can help support me, so I keep doing videos like this. I have affiliate links to the Book Depository, Book Depository and Amazon, which are over on YouTube, which you can go and buy stuff, and that certainly helps me out a lot as well. I have merchandise. You can buy merchandise on my Twitch channel. TV channel now. Seriously. Go check it out. Let me know. If there are problems with pricings and designs, we will sort it out because you will give me feedback and I will know what to do. And I will say what I normally say, and that is uh, share, like, and subscribe. Uh, hit the follow button if you're on Twitch TV. Hit the bell button if you're over on YouTube. Yay for at least having a bell that seems to function reasonably well. Yes, very good. Well done. Well done, YouTube. It seems to be working out reasonably successful at this present time. Not necessarily going to stay that way, but who knows. And hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s.